So um, I'll keep it nice, short and sweet for you all. Um, so now we're going to transition into the, okay, so we talked about, you know, you're trying to maintain your culture as you scale. You have all these different problems you're trying to solve and need custom content for. So now that you've created your content, where where does it live? How do you give access to different types of users? Um, how do you get reporting that you can maybe integrate with your CRM so that key decision makers can understand where the investment in training is paying, you know, a return on, um, things like that. So that's where the learning management system comes in. So really we took a step back and said, there's so many bells and whistles on learning management systems today that are not necessary to what you're looking to solve. So we really try to simplify everything and make it such that even an individual who is not a learning administrator can get something together very quickly and administer to learners. So I'll start off with showing what it's like as an administrator on this platform, and then I'll switch over to the learner side and show you what that experience is like as well. So immediately you log in and it shows you some quick links you can go to, to if in this case, you'd like to request a custom course from us. It's just an easy form that you fill. It's already pre-filled with your information. Um, so you can get that filled in and we would know to, uh, help you or if you'd like to get creating one on your own you can do that too um, and right from the dashboard you can add a user or group them in groups so the group concept allows you to assign content to types of users so let's say i'm speaking to new hires that are software developers and there's this particular course in um, analytics that they should take or in testing that they should take if, if they're working at your company um, I also have a quick snapshot of statistics. I don't need to dive into Excel spreadsheets to just get a snapshot of, oh, how many people have completed courses overall? How many learners do I have, administrators, et cetera. So um, there's essentially three types of users, learners, administrators, managers. Managers are similar to administrators, but have more restricted access, but kind of the same feel on, on this dashboard. So creating courses is very intuitive. It's, it's such a step-by-step -step process. So I'll show you an existing course that we have here, which I'll also show you on the learner side. But really, if again, if I'm trying to make a course that's similar to one that already exists like this, I can easily clone it. But if I'm starting from scratch, I just have to give it a title, um, subject. In this case, this is kind of a little demo test course. I could do that. Um, and put it here and then uh, this is a test category so within this i could pick this particular subject or i could add more to it um, and then i have a little description here about what the course will cover little cover image and i could actually put a, a demo like a promo video that gives a little short maybe 30 second snippet of what learners should expect i can add all kinds of different objectives here so maybe like um onboarding maybe an object objective of this training or um culture training or anything that you want so you're not restricted in how many sort of objectives you can add so the next thing is i've got basically the front porch of my course done now let's add more structure to it this is where the modules come in. I can drag and drop them. Um, again, this is a sample one, so you could have as many modules as you wish. I can add new ones, delete. Uh, um, and so now to kind of view what's in a particular module, so um, you can have all kinds of different lessons. So again, you have the front portrait of your course, which is what we did on the overview page. Now we're putting structure, a module within itself can have multiple kinds of lessons. These lessons could be text, video, audio, attachments, um, or they could be assessments. These assessments could either be manually graded or they could be um, true and false questions. So let's say here, if I'm doing creating an assessment, I could add, this should be a multiple choice or true false. If I'm adding a true false question, I add in the content, I could choose true or false and give a note for why it's right or why the answer that I picked is right or why this answer is right. So really, at the end, after they've taken it, they can see a transcript that shows them, this is the question that you had, this is the response that you gave, this is the correct response, and here's why. Um, so now I've put my content inside the module of all these different types, um, and um, I've also put in my assessments 
um, again, by the way, you can preview anything as you go like this. This is all text. I can preview. I like how it looks. I like the different um, spacing that's there. So that's great. Now I, I've got my I've got my food at the party. Well, now I need to figure out who's all coming to the party. And so that's where the audience comes in. And we make it really easy for you where you can either assign it by a group level or you can assign it at a subgroup level or you can do it at an individual user level. Um, so after you've done that and assigned it to a single individual um, or subgroup or group, then you have some settings that you can set. Do I still want this to be in draft mode or am I ready to publish? Perhaps I want it to be self-paced or I actually would want it scheduled on a particular day and time. Um, um, in this case, we'll leave it as self-paced. Um, I think this is going to be so many minutes long and you do I want to give them any kind of assessment prior to taking this course and also give them the same assessment at the end after they are done? Okay, great. So this gives me like some measurement of how much impact have I actually made through this content? What do they know coming in and what do they know coming out? Um, so really, like I said, you don't need to be a learning management system administrator to put this together. It's really super simple. Anybody can do it. And um, yeah, that's really in a nutshell how you put courses together. So next, let's say maybe you're like, I don't want to go into a full-fledged course. It's too much time. I just really want to make an easy assessment and assign it to a bunch of users. Maybe I met with them in person and I just want to test the understanding. Well, you can simply create a knowledge check. So it doesn't have to be a course with videos and everything. This could just be an assessment standalone. Um, and any, any course you have within a particular category, so let's say it's networking and security, any course within that category can have access to the same knowledge check. Um, I see we got a question that came in here. I can try to, to respond to it here as we go. Um, maybe Susie, do you see what the question says? I just saw a notification pop you know, in. No, I was just giving a tip to everybody. So oh, okay. Unless, no problem. No, don't, just me. Okay, that Thanks. sounds good. Um, so here in this um, knowledge check, I can add details about it, similar to that sort of front page of a course. Um, what's the total score going to be? What's the minimum that I require for it to pass? What is the due date that I want it done by? Um, and uh, what category do I want this assessment to live in? So that, you know, I can use it in between multiple courses that may be similar in content. Um, okay, so I've got pretty much all of that. Then now I'm adding my questions. So we give you even more question types than just auto graded questions, which are in the self assessment uh, for the course flow. So I can have multiple choice, true, false. I can actually grade manually if I like, or I can just give them tasks that maybe I'll grade, but they don't really need to give any kind of submission. So a task could be something like um, go out and network with, you know, folks that are on your floor or something like that. Um, so that's something that they don't really have a submission for, but it's a task that you can give them. Um, and so now I pick an audience again, individual, subgroup or group, or now it's time to grade. So in this case, I'm not really um, grading. There's no user that I've necessarily assigned this to be able to grade um, and then settings. Um, do I want to see the quiz results after they're done or do I want them to also not only see what the results were, but what the right answers were. So all of that's available to them. Um, looking at um, users, I can add users individually one by one. I can import them in bulk by CSV. We can API connect to whatever system you use so that users that are added into your organization, let's say through your, into your CRM, boom, they get added into the learning management system as well. So there's all, essentially we can add users any different um, way that you want us to. Now let's group them in groups. Okay, great. Well, so I can create subgroups within these groups and uh, put the different users in there so that I can assign courses to them. So again, this is kind of a little demo account, but just trying to show you um, the extensibility that you have. So in this case, there's this new subgroup and by clicking checkboxes, I can show which learner is in which one. I can delete a subgroup. I can edit information in that subgroup. I can dive into details for each particular learner. And if I want to edit, I have the ability to edit that as well, um, give them a new image or inactivate them as a learner. The possibilities, the possibilities are really endless. I can assign them to a particular subgroup or another group. Um, um, so user management has really the ability to add individual users, group them into teams or subgroups, um, 
add them one by one or by CSV or by API. So now when we get to the reporting, I can pick reports by course. So I can pick reports by a knowledge check. So now I can see this guy's 50% done. I can see what they've been, um, uh, if they've taken any assessments just yet. I can look at it from a knowledge perspective, knowledge check perspective. I can look at it from a subgroup perspective, or I can look at it from a whole group perspective. Okay, um, so this whole group, you know, um, took this quiz and they didn't spend that much time on it, and they got a hundred percent score. Um, so again, all of this is just really test data, but um, the larger your organization would be, a lot of you'd have a lot more data to deal with. You can export it if you like as a CSV or a PDF. All that's available to you as well. Um, we do have easy to use billing that shows you, hey, you know, from this time period to this time period, this is how many folks you had active and you can export that and you can see a history of different statements and how much you've paid uh, by subscription as well. Um, so all those are things that are available to you. So now if I switch over to the learner, I really would like to say the I you, you'd be hard pressed to find a simpler learning platform from a learner flow. I log in. I don't have 5,000 tabs to try to figure out where I should be going. Right away, I can tell how many courses I've completed, how many I have in progress, how many knowledge checks I completed. If there's anything that's coming that's due, it will show up below here. Anything I click will take me to the content. Boom. If I come back again, and maybe I don't know, you know, I can't, I can't see this button for some reason. I click on here, it takes me here. Um, if I click on go to my learning, again, I come back to this flow. So it's just really two tabs, super simple. You're not getting all these support emails. Hey, where do I find my course? Or how do I log in? It's all extremely, extremely simple because we recognize, you know, we are in the business of training, but you are not necessarily in the business of training. You're in the business of serving your customers. Training enables you to do that. So the quicker that I can provide you the tools and get out of your way, the better. In this case, I can see the course that's assigned to me. I can click start the course and boom, here's my content. If I like to view it in full screen, I can do that as well. Um, right here, I can kind of go through everything and here's a sample video. Um, so I can watch this video, shows me different things. Um, or if I want to go to, and by the way, you can see this video is animated. So if you wanted us to develop animated content for you, we can do that. Um, if we go next, I can see sort of a checklist of like my to-do list. And so this is an expandable accordion. So we like to make the content different and interactive so that it's not just, you know, six hours of videos that I'm watching. Maybe I watch a video, then I have to read something. Um, and so we go next and this is a knowledge check. So I click start and then it's got, hey, this is timed or this is what you got to do. And you got this many questions, this is what you, uh, you know, and gives them all the information. Um, so if I click continue again, I can see, maybe I uh, touch on this. As you can see, I didn't take that knowledge check, so it's still incomplete, right? So everything is tracked. And so that's how you see those percentages of their 50% done, did this percent done. Um, so now maybe I'm looking at more of a written prose or I play this audio to listen to whatever it's saying. I have all that ability. Um, or I wanna download a PDF and, um, and you know view it locally, I can do that as well. If you really would like a more in-depth view of all that you can do on the platform, we'll be glad to um, show you and walk you through your use case and try to explain how this can help you solve training challenges at your organization.